This is my mother. Say hello. Mom. Hello. Turn and say hi. Just say hi. Okay. Hey, everybody. I just wanted information. Let's try that again. What I was trying to say was, since I'm doing the Get Ready With Me video this weekend, would you like to see a neutral eye or this orange smoked out look? I wish I could go out and go drink like a really good Moscow Mule or a Mojito or just a real good drink. But not like a club or a bar where you're having to shout. Because literally the last time I went out, I had a sore throat from screaming so much to the other person. But like at a cool little trendy place that has down tempo music playing in the background and couches you can chill on. But does that even, does that even exist where I'm from? I'm from McAllen, but I really kind of don't have a life and go out. So I don't know where places are. Mm. Is a baby, so why don't you kill me? Just kidding, but for real. Just had some stressful 20 past stressful like 24 hours. Things are good now, things are chill, everything is right with the world, as good as they can be. That's why I just kind of want to get drunk and escape from reality for a moment. And I know that sounds horrible, but it's true. <sighs> But I want to get drunk, like really drunk, like happy drunk. Because when I went out last time, I had some shots, I had some drinks, and I wasn't drunk. It takes a lot to get me drunk. But part of it probably was is that I was really uncomfortable because I have social anxiety with bars and lots of people. And also because I saw old friends and an ex an ex boyfriend. It was hilarious because like we message every time every now and then on Facebook and I literally just messaged him because the song was playing and then he showed up. And of course, I saw him right at the door and I was like, fuck, and hid the rest of the night. I guess so I, I was kind of awkward and did let myself actually enjoy the night. Sorry for the nonstop chatter on Snapchat. I've just had four cups of coffee. It's called Dark Matter from one of the Keurig cups. And it's an extra bold, strong blend. That's why I like it so much. But yeah, I'm kind of wired right now. Sorry for talking. Okay, you guys, I was going to record a video. I still might do it, but something is seriously wrong with my face. Like, I have this scratch. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm, a, I'm like, going to schedule to record an actual video for YouTube, something always fucking happens, and I don't know why. But anyways, this, I think, was probably a pimple that I tried to scratch off with my nail while I was high on Ambien. <laughs> But look at this. Like, look at my nose. This is so swollen and it hurts. Like, compare sides. Look at this side and look at this side. Literally woke up maybe 7. I woke up like at 7. And I've been laying in bed watching YouTube videos. And I was like, why does my face hurt? And then I looked at this. But seriously, dude, am I imagining it? Because it looks pretty obvious. Look at the size of that. And look at that. That. That like from both angles there is an obvious difference like I don't even have to move my head what the fuck causes that it seriously hurts I don't know but if it goes down I'll do the get ready with me it's not like I'm going anywhere anyway today but I was gonna record
I swear the gods are against me because I have the worst luck. And not just this is the only pain that I'm having. I think I'm getting shingles on my shingles on my back because I can feel like it's burning fire of like electricity that goes shoots up my back and it's like almost this is in between my shoulder blades and once it starts no matter what I do it doesn't stop. But this is a WebMD diagnosis. So it with a grain of salt because I mean come on I don't think it's a pinched nerve and if it was a pinched nerve I'm already taking nerve pain medicine which is helping for my legs but the best way I can describe it when it suddenly starts to hit me it feels like I'm being branded by a hot poker um obviously I've never had that but like if somebody's pinching and twisting but I have no fucking clue what it is and it seems to be happening more often and I don't want to go to the doctor and have another thing diagnosed with me like I just want why can't I just be normal? Like, I already have my back situation is finally starting to stabilize because I can move around. Why do I have to add something else to the mix? Why?